In 2026, the Philippines has taken a decisive step forward in enhancing its air combat capabilities with the continued deployment and potential upgrade of its F-A-50 Golden Eagle fighter jets. Manufactured by Korean Aerospace Industries in partnership with Lockheed Martin, the F-A-50 has become the centerpiece of the Philippine Air Force's modernization efforts. But what makes this jet so valuable for a country like the Philippines, especially in an increasingly volatile Indo-Pacific region? Let's explore the full story, from its background to its combat capabilities and what lies ahead for the F-A-50 in Philippine skies. The F-A-50 is not just any lightweight fighter. It's a supersonic combat aircraft that balances affordability with functionality. Designed originally as a lead-in fighter trainer, it evolved into a fully capable multi-role aircraft. For the Philippines, this dual-role capability is crucial allowing for both pilot training and operational combat missions using the same airframe. This efficiency is not only budget-friendly but also strategic, especially for a country seeking to strengthen its sovereignty without breaking the bank. When the Philippine Air Force first acquired the F-A-50 in 2015, it marked a turning point. After decades without a supersonic capability, the F-A-50 reintroduced high-speed air operations to the nation's air fleet. By 2026, the fleet has matured. The aircraft are now integrated into national defense protocols, regular patrols, and regional exercises. Several sources even suggest that new avionics and radar upgrades are underway, increasing the aircraft's utility in both air to air and air to ground roles. Let's break down the aircraft's core specifications and performance. The FA-50 is powered by a General Electric F-404 turbofan engine, giving it a maximum speed of Mach 1.5 and a combat radius of approximately 1,800 km. It carries a variety of weapons, including short-range air-to-air missiles, precision-guided bombs, unguided rockets, and even laser-guided munitions. This versatility allows the F-A-50 to be effective in both defensive interception missions and offensive ground attack operations. In terms of onboard systems, the F-A-50 includes modern avionics that make it a potent platform. The aircraft uses a pulse Doppler radar system, compatible with various missile systems. Some reports in 2026 indicate that a new radar upgrade may introduce an active electronically scanned array, or ACER radar, significantly improving detection ranges and targeting accuracy. ACER technology is often reserved for top tier aircraft. So if this upgrade materializes, it could be a game-changer for the Philippine fleet. Weapons integration has also seen enhancements. Originally, the Philippine version of the F-A-50 came with basic weapons compatibility. However, over the past decade, Integration of precision-guided munitions like the GBU-12 Paveway-2 laser-guided bomb and AGM-65 Maverick missiles has expanded its capabilities. There's also speculation that the Philippines is considering the integration of the AIM-120 AMRAM, a beyond-visual-range missile, which would boost the FA-50's air-to-air lethality. But why does this matter now, in 2026? The answer lies in the strategic landscape of Southeast Asia. With increased maritime tensions in the West Philippine Sea, aerial surveillance and air deterrence have become priorities. 
the Philippine Air Force needs a reliable platform to patrol its vast airspace, respond to intrusions, and project credible defense power. The FA-50 fits this role perfectly a cost-effective, fast, and ready for combat. Another noteworthy factor is the FA-50's interoperability. Because the aircraft shares DNA with American systems, it can operate in joint exercises and missions with U.S. and Allied forces. The Philippines has long maintained a defense alliance with the United States, and the ability of F-A-50 jets to communicate and coordinate with U.S. platforms like the F-16 or F-35 adds tremendous value to regional stability. Training is also a big part of the F-A-50's utility. Not only does it serve as a combat jet, but it also functions as a trainer for future pilots transitioning to more advanced fighters. The cockpit is equipped with multifunction displays, fly-by wire controls, and HUD systems that mimic high-end Western fighters. This prepares Philippine pilots for the potential acquisition of fourth or even fifth generation fighters down the road. In 2026, we are also seeing more frequent FA-50 deployments in regional military drills. These exercises are designed to simulate real-world combat situations and increase cooperation with regional allies such as Japan, Australia, and the United States. FA-50s have taken part in interception drills, joint bombing runs, and maritime patrol missions, showcasing the aircraft's operational flexibility. There have been growing calls within the Philippine defense sector for an expansion of the FA-50 fleet. With an initial batch of 12 aircraft, reports suggest the government is exploring the acquisition of an additional squadron, possibly upgraded to the FA-50 Block 20 standard. This newer configuration would include enhanced data link systems, expanded weapons compatibility and improved endurance EU elements that would further strengthen the country's air defense framework. Public sentiment toward the FA-50 is generally positive. In a country where national security is a growing concern, the sight of fast jets roaring over the skies during exercises and air shows is a symbol of sovereignty and modernization. The FA-50 has become more than just a fighter who it represents the country's forward-looking defense strategy. What about maintenance and sustainment? In 2026, one of the challenges the Philippine Air Force faces is the availability of spare parts and proper support infrastructure. However, Korean Aerospace Industries has reportedly worked closely with Philippine maintenance teams, establishing long-term support agreements. Local technicians are being trained to handle complex systems, reducing reliance on foreign contractors and shortening aircraft downtime. In addition to military upgrades, the FA-50's operational record in the Philippines has evolved. It was used in live combat operations during the Mara E siege in 2017, and its role in providing close air support proved invaluable. Since then, mission logs have grown, with FA-50S participating in anti-insurgency operations, counter-terror campaigns, and maritime patrols. This combat experience sets the stage for further refining tactics techniques, and procedures for future engagements. There is also talk of integrating the FA-50 with real-time surveillance platforms. Linking the jet with drones and maritime patrol aircraft could create a comprehensive battlefield awareness system.
This network-centric approach would allow pilots to receive live data feeds, increasing mission effectiveness and reducing risks during combat missions. One key area of development is the FA-50's communications suite. The aircraft is being fitted with encrypted data links and secure voice systems that allow real-time coordination between air and ground units. This means more accurate targeting, faster response times, and better coordination during joint missions. If the Philippines decides to acquire airborne early warning and control aircraft, the FA-50 would be able to plug directly into that command network, expanding its combat horizon. The defense budget in 2026 has also allocated more funds toward aircraft infrastructure. New hangars, training simulators, and radar installations are being built in key air bases like Clark and Baza. These upgrades support not just the FA-50, but also lay the foundation for future acquisitions of possibly even heavier fighter jets in the future. There's also discussion about expanding FA-50 roles into reconnaissance missions. By equipping the aircraft with advanced pods as such as electro-optical-slash-infrared targeting systems or tactical reconnaissance equipment to it could be used to gather intel over disputed zones. This would add another dimension to its utility, especially in the West Philippine Sea where monitoring foreign vessels is a daily necessity. Meanwhile, regional observers are paying close attention. Neighboring countries have expressed interest in the FA-50 due to its affordability and performance. In fact, countries like Malaysia and Thailand are also exploring upgrades to similar aircraft, creating opportunities for joint maintenance and regional cooperation in logistics. As 2026 progresses, all signs point to the FA-50 playing an increasingly central role in the Philippines' aerial defense. Whether it's intercepting unknown aircraft, supporting ground troops, or patrolling contested waters, the Golden Eagle has proven to be a reliable and cost-effective solution. It's not just a fighter J2, it's a symbol of national resilience, technological progress, and regional partnership. In the end, the FA-50 is not the most powerful fighter in the world, but in the context of Philippine defense strategy, it's almost perfectly balanced. It meets the country's current needs while paving the way for more advanced systems in the future. With ongoing training, upgrades, and fleet expansion, the Golden Eagle's legacy in the Philippine Air Force is just getting started. And as we move further into the 2020s, the skies over the archipelago will continue to echo with the sound of this sleek, powerful, and ever-evolving fighter jet.